You know, like all divers, when you buy gear, it can be kind of expensive and you want to get the best of your investment. One of the best ways to get the best of your investment is to take good care of your gear and to clean it. And personally, I like a cleaner that's going to not only clean my equipment, but keep it in good working order as well. And an inexpensive cleaner, like say this Pal Palau here is going to work great. But that's only really going to work, say, if you're doing recreational and technical diving. What if you're exposed to an environment where there's extremely hazmatic materials that not only is your wetsuit or dry suit getting exposed to, but so is your regulators and your full face mask? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how I clean my gear when I expose it to both oil and gas. <music> What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now if you can't tell, it is a rainy, dreary day today. And it's actually been raining all day. It's kind of calm right now. But we went out earlier, we did a salvage job. And when you do salvage work like this, one of the questions I get asked a lot is, how do you clean your gear? What kind of gear wash do you use to clean your gear? And in the scuba industry, there are certain types of gear wash that we use. I've made several videos on this of how I personally clean my dive gear after a series of dives or after a trip or something like that. But I've never really talked about how I clean it after a salvage job. And I don't really do the conventional scuba way of doing it. I do it Brian's way of doing it. And I wanna walk you over here and show you exactly what I do after every salvage job, especially if I've been exposed to a high uh, amount of say, gas and oil. All right guys, as you can see, I got my Pelican box here. I've already got my fins down in there and I've actually already sprayed off and, and kinda of got some soap really good on my gear. Now the soap that I'm actually using, of course, is Dome Dish Detergent. It is by far the absolute best degreaser on the market. I know a lot of manufacturers will tell you not to use it. It's too aggressive. Guys, I can tell you right now, it's not too aggressive. If they use it for wildlife that gets covered in oil, trust me, you can use it on inanimate objects such as your dive gear, including your first stage, your second stage, and even your full face mask. And yes, I'll even be doing the same cleaning procedure to my dry suit here shortly just to get it cleaned up really good. But basically all I've done is just filled up my box with Dawn dish detergent and water, and I'm letting the item soak. So I'm just gonna put everything back down here and I'm gonna let it soak really good. As it soaks, it's gonna break up all that gas and oil and bring it up to a film here on top of the water. Then of course, I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna take a brush, a toothbrush, something like that. And I'm just gonna go to town and I'm gonna clean it up really good. Especially say on my full face mask, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna clean out all the little crevices of the full face mask and I'm gonna get it. And if you look close enough, you will see those are not necessarily suds. They're on my visor. That is actually a oily film from the gas and oil. And I'm gonna show you some footage from earlier today too on the salvage. And you'll actually see the oil and gas coming up out of this vessel as we were raising it. See, we don't have any flows now. Hey, Brian. Brian, we have to search for those seats. Me and you have to look for the seats. So why do we do this? Well, I want to get the best of my investment, just like you want the best of your investment. You need to take good care of your dive gear. And just like in recreational scuba or technical scuba, or in this case, commercial scuba, this ain't dive gear. This is life safety equipment. This equipment keeps me alive when I'm underwater and it keeps me safe when I'm underwater as well. That's why I want to take good care of it. But don't be afraid to use conventional soap and stuff on your dive gear. If it works on every other aspect out there, it's not going to tear up your O-rings and things like that if you clean it once in a blue moon like this. And trust me, we clean ours more than once in a blue moon when it comes to salvage work. But guys, I just want to make this short video showing you exactly how we do this. Now I'm going to rinse this out. So basically, Basically, I'm going to empty all this out, get rid of all that gas and oil, and I'm going to fill it back up with just fresh, clean water, straight out of the spigot here, of course. And then, of course, I'm just going to let my gear soak. When that last bit of film comes up, then I'll pour it out, rinse it again, and then I'll rinse each individual component, hang it up, let it dry. Once it's all dry, I'll store it 
and get it ready to go for the next salvage job. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it. If you got any questions, I'll drop you a couple of links down below of how I clean just my gear when I'm out diving for fun. And check those videos out because I think they'll be helpful and educational for you as well. Because like I said, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, share it for me. I'm going to go ahead and sign off for today. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.